critical theme to this advertising campaign, but even going back to the very beginnings of Airbnb, has always been about this idea of live like a local, travel uh, like a local. So I just, I wanna, if we can put up that, that slide. So we had recently done some research on drivers for travelers, why they, they use uh, Airbnb. And can you just advance it one? There's, a, uh, there's one of these options that I wanna highlight in particular, an arrow should pop up. Hit the advance button. Okay, maybe not. Well, if you go down four or five and you can see actually many locals and hosts is relatively, uh, it is relatively small, right? It's, not, it's maybe important for one out of four, one out of five. Uh, travelers who stay in an Airbnb. So when I look at this, what's actually striking is at the top, it's convenient location and overall value for money, which is the primary drivers for choosing an Airbnb. So it actually looks like that's kind of how people choose hotels too, right? So how important really is that live there versus just the traditional you need know, a place to stay and it's about price and location? Yeah, living there is really a, a mix of different factors. In some cases, it's meeting locals, meeting hosts directly, and that's most of the time people actually uh, book a private room more than an entire space, so that you have more interaction with the hosts. But it's also, you know, things that you see in this study, like the convenient location, where, um, an example, uh, at some point we were looking at some of the numbers in our big cities, and we saw a lot of Parisians booking in Paris, a lot of Londoners booking in London, and we're like, why do people do that? Their own city, why are they booking in their own city? And what happens is when family come to uh, Paris or London, they actually book an, uh, an Airbnb next door so that they have the proximity of the family, they can spend some time with them, but at the end of the day, they are actually going back somewhere as well, which is the best of both worlds. Um, so the convenient location is actually something, you can actually in every street in Paris find a, uh, an Airbnb apartment next to your own apartment. So, uh, that's part of living like a local somewhere. Um, same thing, the home-like feeling uh, is it, something. Um, I was in Dubai for a couple of weeks, and I rented my apartment uh, to a, a couple with two kids. Um, you know, so they had my place for the week. And we have, look, our kids are pretty much the same age, and they could feel at home. They had everything they needed from the toys that my kids play with. Uh, to the Nespresso coffee machine that I'm using when I'm, you know, waking up. So that's really a combination of different factors, not necessarily meeting people and interacting in person with people. But, but there still is this, this dynamic of you know, competition with hotels, you know, quite, quite clearly. And I, the impression I've got from you know, Airbnb over the years, you've tried to kind of soften that, uh, that message that the business is, is incremental to uh, the hotel market as opposed to directly competitive. But it, does seem to suggest from here that you know, increasingly uh, those those worlds are, are colliding. Well, it, it, we are we are saying that the hoteliers are saying the same thing, right? Like, uh, many of the hotel CEOs say that they made you know they did studies on uh, the cannibalization impact of Airbnb, and uh, it was marginal in most cases. Uh, uh, so there, there is really I'm not saying there is no competition at all, no com uh, cannibalization at all. Uh, but there is really, it's really minor in what they see. 